overtime repeat drunk driver gets a 50-year prison sentence tonight for hitting and killing a man. Jamie Alvarado had three previous DWI convictions and had already been deported back to Honduras twice. But none of that stopped the accident that killed Robert Benn in August of 2009. A Travis County jury made its unanimous decision after two hours of deliberations. KXA's Aaron Cargill is back from the courthouse with reaction from the victim's family. Aaron. Robert Ben's wife and daughter tell me they can go back to Tennessee in peace. They were extremely pleased with the jury's sentence tonight. It was double what Alvarado's attorney asked for, but he will be eligible for parole in 25 years. After three drunk driving convictions and being deported twice, 24-year-old Jaime Alvarado will now spend at least a quarter century in a Texas prison. Sir, you are sentenced to serve a term of 50 years. It was exactly what Robert Ben's wife and daughter from Tennessee had come to Texas to hear. While police were chasing Alvarado, who appeared to be drunk, he ran a red light and smashed into Ben's rental car. Ben had just landed at the Austin airport, excited about a new job, and was on the way to a hotel. Several hours earlier, his daughter Andrea gave birth to a baby girl. He would never get to see me as a mother. I will never get to introduce him to his granddaughter. I will be reminded of the day of his death every single Monday for the rest of my life. After the sentence was read, she spoke to the man who killed her father. Every year on August 31st, I will have the constant reminder that as we celebrate my daughter's birthday, we are also forced to mourn my father's senseless death. Alvarado's mom sat on the other side of the courtroom, holding back tears, too. No one from their side wanted to comment after the state got what they asked for. The community takes these cases very seriously. This guy continued to make the same mistake, but once you make one mistake, you need to learn from it. But drinking and driving is not good for anyone, this community or any other community. Now, after Alvarado is up for parole, attorneys say he could be prosecuted in federal court for re-entering the country a third time. Live in the newsroom tonight, Aaron Cargill, KXAN, Austin News.